You know how when you watch a black and white movie, it's difficult to imagine that those actors lived in color? That can happen with music, with jazz especially, where you put it in two boxes. Oh, there's the stuff that's happening now or in the recent past that feels contemporary. And then there's all the old jazz and we lump it all together. But that's really doing us, ourselves a disservice in terms of understanding the context that music happened in. So this song, Junk Blues, this album, Joe Henderson in Japan, it's 1971, summertime. He travels solo to Japan, plays with the local rhythm section. We've just come out of the Coltrane late 60s avant-garde music, modal stuff, we're going into fusion, uh, just the very beginnings of it. Weather Report puts out their first album, 1971. The Vietnam War is going on. I mean, there's all these kind of things, let alone what's going on in pop music. It can really give you a whole nother layer of meaning, which you might say, well, what's this got to do? I just want to check out the hot licks that he's playing. But I'm telling you that it's not about the licks. It's about, you know, the what's what emotions are being conveyed. And the more you can deepen your understanding of music through not thinking always about the instrument, which is just a, a tool of, an, of expression, but thinking about the expression part of it, thinking about the art form, the music, what people were trying to say with it in a given context, that's really, really helpful stuff. So let's check out what was going on in the jazz landscape, 1971. <laughs> be brought to you by Xerox in four parts without commercial interruptions. The flip side of that is the hits on the radio. And I will never be set free. She's a lady. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Good enough for me and my Bobby. No sunshine when she's gone. What's going on? What's going on? Oh, what's going on? What's going on? You've got a friend, but it was just my imagination. Country roads take me home. not going to be time to do this with every single song all the time. I get that. But I would encourage you to just take this and go, oh, all right, well, maybe I could go deeper on the stuff I'm listening to because it will really enhance your experience of the music. And I promise you the stuff that you learn, it, while it's not the same as sitting there practicing a scale, it does matter and it does sink in and it will inform your ideas and the way that you choose to express yourself musically on whatever your instrument is. So hope that was helpful and uh, yeah, tune in for the next one.